A Milwaukee tree garden pays tribute to fallen children, kids killed by violence or child abuse. Well, the first phase of a project is done. It's a living monument and it's positively Milwaukee. Faces of the innocent, cheated of childhood and robbed of life by cruelty and violence. My son passed away a couple years ago. Um, from child abuse. Stephen Archer's son Aiden is just one reason why these volunteers are spending a cool gray Saturday morning excavating, digging, and planting trees. Guardians of the Children enlisted volunteers to prep this land and to build tree monuments, a tribute to loved ones lost. Bringing this vacant lot back to life near 8th and Concordia keeps young victims close to our hearts. The children didn't ask to be murdered and, and, and taken from this earth, so um, we will never stop remembering any of the children that we have represented or any of the ones that we didn't get to know. On October 28th, 40 trees were planted. Volunteers hand painted rocks with the names, birth, and death dates of the fallen kids. A sad epitaph to a societal disgrace. It's a shame that we have to do this. Um, wish we could have prevented some of these murders before they happened, um, but we'll keep doing it till the day we die. And the parents of children killed, guardians of the children are lifesavers. Since my son passed away um, through the whole court system to now, um, they've shown up at every date, court date, and uh, you know, they've called me to see how I was doing. As these trees take root, survivors find comfort in knowing they're not alone. Those here hope to advance awareness in the fight against child abuse and violence and help bruised hearts heal. I feel at peace. This is great to have everybody here, and not just for my son, but for other children who have died as well. And guardians of the children are hoping that the tree garden reminds people to take action if they do suspect a child may be victim of abuse. We all need to do our part.